We are here in Lima, Peru, at the close of the IMF World Bank Annual Meetings, where the world's top finance and economic officials gathered here to discuss the global economy. With me here today is David Lipton, the first Deputy Managing Director of the IMF. Hi, David. It's good to be with you. At these annual meetings, we've been hearing a lot about economic transitions. Um, China's transition to slower growth, U.S. interest rate increase, low commodity prices. Is this just a confluence of multiple forces or is something more fundamental going on? Well, we had uh, the ground shifting under our feet as we uh, came into these meetings uh, with the events that you describe. And I think uh, as a result, we've given a message that uh, the uh, global situation is settling into a mediocre new normal. Uh, but we have a second part of our message as well, which is that there's a policy upgrade. It is underway in a lot of places. Uh, it has to be intensified in others. But the urgency of a policy upgrade is all the more fundamental because of the difficulties that the global economy is facing. Can you please explain what you mean by a policy upgrade? Two parts. Of course, uh, countries have policies that they can improve in order to uh, in secure their own individual country situations. We have seen that the markets uh, treat countries in a very differentiated fashion. And so countries that make improvements in their own situations are going to be in a better uh, position in the, in, the, in the markets, in the global economy. But there's a second part, which is what can the collective uh, international community do as a policy upgrade in trying to create a better environment for growth, to be able to be supportive of the transition that China's going through, to be able to help emerging market countries that either because of uh, commodity price declines or because of corporate debt have some difficulties, to create a more dynamic and balanced growth that will lift uh, everyone up and create a, a better situation across the globe. So we came here hoping to have discussions about the policy upgrade. We came with the World Economic Outlook, with the Global Financial Stability Report. What were your discussions? How did policymakers react to the messages that the fund brought? Well, it was an interesting reaction. I think on the surface, at the beginning, we heard uh, some complaints that we were being a bit gloomy. I think, though, as the days went on and we talked about the difficulties that we see countries uh, facing, the risks that they may have, the particular issues uh, that, you, that you referred to, the slowdown in China, how it's going to affect China, the region, the world. People came around, I think, to agree with us very much on the assessments that we've made. And so in the end of the day, I feel comfortable with the, the messages that we've brought to uh, the, the international community here in Lima. You know, one of the other um, sort of themes that came across was diversity and divergence, that not all countries are alike. Um, does that factor into... I think it's absolutely central to the present situation. We don't have one recipe for all. This is not a moment where everyone should provide stimulus or everyone should provide a, 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 a tightening of monetary policy. You know, you have countries that are uh, more or less affected by what's going on in China. You have countries that are positively affected by the oil price decline, negatively affected by the oil price decline. You have countries that are seeing their currencies weaken against the dollar and other current countries whose currencies are riding up with the dollar. So there are so many different dimensions here that uh, we really need to tailor our recommendations and countries need to uh, decide on policy steps that are appropriate to their circumstances, which I think means that uh, the, uh, the outlook and the, the policy uh, prospects really differ from place to place. So what is the basic outcome of the meetings? Like vigilance is the key word here, watchword? Well, I think policy upgrade is uh, what everyone should focus on. There's work uh, to do individually for country officials. There's work for the international community to do. This is underway. And uh, to end on a positive note, our forecast for 2016, which presumes that a policy upgrade uh, continues and takes hold, mm -hmm. our forecast is for 3.6% growth in the global economy. It may or may not come to pass. Our, 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 our uh, forecasts sometimes uh, are accurate and sometimes have to be revised. But if it were to come to pass, that would be the fastest growth in the global economy since the global financial crisis. On that note, thank you, David Lipton. Thank you.